Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create a screw effect in Blender, which is really easy. You can make it uh, just with a, a shape and a modifier, and that's all you need. So you can see I've used quite a range of different meshes here to create these lovely screws. And they can be used for so many things in Blender, but I'll get into that in a moment. So how do we do this? Well, it's, as, it's really, really simple. So I'm going to get myself a mesh. I'm just going to use a plane for this example for now. I'm going to add the modifier, which is, if you don't know, it's under the properties, modifier properties. And then I'm just going to pop this screw on. And the reason, the reason it's flat is because I've just not extruded it out, basically, which is easy to do. You just use this here, the screw. You can see it's kind of going out. It looks a bit like a concertina shape rather than a screw. But that's just partly because of the nature of the plane shape. So if you look carefully, it's kind of pulling the plane upwards from its original starting location and kind of twisting it around. If I change it into its Y or X, you'll see it creates more of a natural screwing effect uh, with the screw on the outside. And you should be able to see here that the plane still exists. You can actually see the plane at either end. Again, it's just been pulled outwards. If you want to tighten it up a bit, you can do it. And if you want to expand it outwards and give it more space, it's just a matter of doing that. If you want it to look cleaner and less jagged, all you need to do is increase this. I mean, it can go up to 512 and you get a really smooth uh, effect. Now, obviously, when you go into editor mode by pressing tab, You'll see that the vertex is the only thing that exists on this. So the actual original mesh in the vertex is, which means you can't really play around with this if you want to, unless, and here's the trick, you press tab, go into objects and apply the visual geometry to the mesh. And you'll see that you'll end up with absolutely, you know, probably thousands and thousands of vertexes there. So if you don't actually need to do this, don't do it, by the way. It's just if you really need to manipulate it afterwards, you can actually go in and just remesh it, basically, to where it is. You'll notice that the screw modifier gets deleted afterwards. Um, in fact, you can even add a new, screw, a new screw modifier, and you can see it just starts going completely insane with its um, shape. So there's no way I'm going to keep that one on because that's far too many. OK, so let's make this useful now. I'm going to add a new mesh, a new plane. I'm going to go into editor mode. I'm just going to delete those two vertices. I'm going to go back and then I'm going to add the screw again. Now, the reason I prefer this one is because it's just a lot cleaner. As you can see, when I pull it out now, there's quite a big difference. So instead of having the plane still there and it being quite square this is like a very proper screw coming out and if you put it into Y you can see the difference it makes it looks so much nicer uh, if you really wanted to you could use this like to create a wrap around a handle a bandage on something that's wrapping around say a leg or an arm um, you could even use it as a screw <laughs> so you could create you could create screws using this one actual proper screws again it's all about how tight you want this by moving it back and forth how many iterations so basically how many times you want it to head it out hopefully you can start to see now what I mean by saying you could use it as a wrap for something uh, the good thing about only using two lines instead of the whole plane as well is you can see that it just looks more curved without having to use too many steps in the viewport so it gets more curved earlier. And so there's lots of things you can do with this that's really, really useful. Uh, I think you should be able to also solidify it if you want to. So you, you've got that option to add a bit of thickness to it. And you can really play around with it. There's so many things that you can do while playing around with it. And as I said before, you can also remesh it if you want to using apply and visual geometry to mesh. I'm not going to do that because that's going to give me potentially millions of vertices to play with. Anyway, so that is how you do a screw and just play around with it. Use different shapes. See what happens when you play around and put them in different 
um, angles, use the different objects as well. I tend to find that one of the best ones to use is the uh, cone, oddly enough. I think that creates a very lovely one, but also the torus also does a really lovely one. And that's it. That's a quick introduction to how to use a screw in Blender.